Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tag Schooling and in this session of the video we're going to talk about the scientific names of all vitamins. Actually not all the vitamins but most of the vitamins which are really important and you'll be studying in your courses. So uh, we have got, uh, we have actually, uh, we actually divide the vitamins in two parts that is water soluble and the fat soluble. So the fat soluble vitamins are the vitamin a, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K, which you can remember by the word drag. You know the singer drag, so remove the R and you will get the further D, A, K, E. That's DAC, so drag. And in the uh, water soluble vitamins, we have got the vitamin uh, B complex vitamin. These are the B complex. And also, we have got another vitamin, which is actually called the vitamin C. I haven't wrote it, but it's vitamin C. So let's get it started with the scientific names of each vitamin. So let's start with the fat soluble vitamins. So what are the fat soluble vitamins? So vitamin A, uh, it's also called as retinol. It's called retinol. And vitamin D is called calciferol. Cal so that's called calciferol. And vitamin E is called tocopherol. Tocopherol and vitamin K is called manicoinin. Now let's long, <clears throat> now let's move towards the water soluble vitamin. So in water soluble vitamin, we have got vitamin C, which is also called as ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid. Vitamin, we have the, well, got the what, B complex vitamin. In the vitamin B complex, we have got different vitamins. So by the, starting with the vitamin B1, which is actually considered as thiamine. Thia. All right. So we have another thiamine, which is an amino acid. Don't go for that. This is another thiamine, which is called, uh, the, it is by I. So that's what's called the vitamin B1. And vitamin B2, we have got riboflavin. Riboflavin. Vitamin B3, we have got niacin. Niacin. And for the vitamin B5, we've got pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid. And vitamin B6 is pyridoxin. Pyro, pyro, pyridoxin. It's called pyridoxin. All right, that's all about the uh, paradox of vitamin B6. For the vitamin B7, we have got the biotin. It's called the scientific name of the vitamin B7. It's called biotin, which is mostly asked by the teachers. And for the, <clears throat> we have done with the vitamin B6. For the vitamin B9, which is also called as folic acid, you know, which is very necessary for the RBC maturation. And it's actually given to the uh, pregnant women for, uh, because of their developing fetus need a blood circulation and uh, it's very necessary for maturation of the RBCs. So for in the case of vitamin B10, we have got PABA, P-A-B-A, -A, which stands for the para-amino aminoic acid, all right? And for the vitamin B12, we have got the very known vitamin, which is called cyanocobamin. Cyano, only copper containing, cyanocoba. So these are all the uh, signing names of all the vitamins, or you can say the important vitamins. So this is all about this thing. Uh, we'll see you in next lecture. Please keep visiting Tag Schooling.